How was your trip? <laughs> it was hot. It was like last five hours, no AC. No AC, oh man, God. Well guys, welcome to VTech Academy. He's about to get cooled. A non-working AC system has numerous causes. It can be no refrigerant, a hole in the system, an electrical problem, the compressor not working. What were your symptoms? Well, it was very effective when it was, the temperature was less than 80 degrees. Uh -huh. Like it would kick on constantly, be freezing cold. And then sometimes if it was sitting for a while, even if it was hot, like out here in Phoenix, it would kick on at the beginning. And then about 10 minutes into the drive, it would just die. Die. Just, it would keep blowing, but it would be warm air. Right. So, sounds to me like the, there was either a pressure problem or an, uh, a clutch problem with the AC compressor. I understand you had a fix that was working for a little while. Uh, yep, it was the old breaker bar method. I would tap the end of the, the compressor uh -huh. and it would engage and I would get cold air for... 20 and, minutes, half hour? Yeah, 20 minutes, half hour, and then it would stop again. You know, if you're trying to get someplace in a decent amount of time, you can't be pulling over every 20 minutes to, yeah. to bump the AC clutch. And that's the way it is here in Phoenix, over 100 degrees. You got the windows up to reduce noise on that freeway, it's gonna get awfully hot in a hurry. Uh, okay, so we've invited our friend Doug, uh, who longtime Honda mechanic. You really enjoyed what he did with the power steering pump rebuild. So we're gonna have him help us out with this particular problem. Yeah, Doug's the man. Doug's the man. And hopefully, with just uh, changing out the clutch. You can leave that at home? Well, I'll still carry this around in case, in case somebody wants a road rage on me. But <laughs> uh, yeah, that's basically what this was still in the yeah. car for. But yeah, hopefully it'll be nice and cool and I won't uh, pull up to work dying. All right, let's get to it. There's not a lot of gap between the compressor and the frame rail. So we might have to loosen the compressor or drop it down just a hair. Big pair of channel locks and hold the clutch into the clutch cover like that. It's not even far enough it. Hey. It's definitely worn. Here's a new one. Flat. As it engages, it drags on the the pulley these grooves on here, which increases the gap. Mm. Which it makes it harder for the uh, coil, the stator, to bring to suck it in. Mm. Okay, so is. the space was just a little bit too wide for the, the magnet to hold it, or? Right, Usually, especially when it gets hot. All right, I think we're gonna need to uh, unbolt the compressor. Let's pour the bolt out. Let's see it. Let's move this. Oh, yeah. oh, so much space. So much space, okay. You can see the grooves in the front of the compressor pulley. So now the key, we have to get another snap ring off. It's way deep in there. Nice. Oh, 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 victory. Got that out. Can't beat me. So the only problem is there's a Phillips screw holding in the ground wire. Of course, it's tight. Yeah. <laughs> And which part is the part that sometimes breaks? It's that just the... Yeah, right, right here, the lip. 
Uh-huh. Uh, you can see it here. Okay. When you pull the clutch off, this has got a pretty thick lip on it. Some of the older ones had thin lip right here. Uh-huh. So you can easily break them if you jack the pulley at an angle. Snap rings are built with an edge, sharp edge on one side and a radius edge on the other. I like to put the radius edge on the outside to help ease it on. Snapped in. Now, let's see if we get the snap ring on the front of this thing. And then we'll put the clutch on, the cover, and then you set the gap. So yeah, this is how it's kind of, it's rubbing. Okay. Here's the shims, and we also have the old one we took off. So let's put the old one on first and see what we got, because it's a little thicker. So how can you tell if it's the right amount of gap? Just... We have to use a feeder gauge. Let's start it, see if it comes on. Oh, let's kick it over. Yeah, it started. Ah, it comes on nicely. Let's see. Oh, we have success. Did it go off? Anyway guys, thanks for clicking on us.